Good morning. This is a Region 10 News Break. I'm David Porter. A train accident in Yugoslavia has left at least 36 people dead and scores of others wounded. Authorities say that figure may rise as they sift through the wreckage. The crash of the speeding freight train into the stopped passenger train occurred just inside the border from Italy. The freight train reportedly sped through a red light and rammed the passenger train. Officials say all of the dead and injured are Yugoslavs. Democrats are preparing for their national convention in San Francisco, and former budget director Burt Lance is now preparing to direct Walter Mondale's national campaign. Word circulated early Friday that Mondale planned to replace Democratic Party Chairman Charles Manat with Lance, but tremors shook the party's foundation as some Mondale delegates vowed to switch to Hart. Mondale backed down and Saturday announced that Lance would be his national campaign chairman, but did say that Manat would be replaced. Gary Hart praised Manat for doing an excellent job under difficult circumstances. A 27-year-old Marlin man is in the Falls County Jail this morning and has been charged with murder in connection with the shooting death of his brother. Gary Lynn Carl was taken into custody by Falls County Sheriff's officials shortly after he allegedly shot 29-year-old Sheridan Ray Carl. Carl was shot once in the head with a 22 caliber pistol just before 3 Saturday afternoon. Sheriff Larry Pamplin says the incident occurred after a family disturbance. Bond on Gary Lynn Carl has been set at $10,000. Almost half of the college students in, a tex in Texas who took a new competency test to qualify them as teacher candidates have failed the exam. The Texas Education Agency reported Saturday that only 54% of the 2,500 college students earned passing scores on the basics of reading, writing, and math. Education leaders called the results depressing and said it was proof that Texas's public school system is lacking. And now for a look at David George's weather. The forecast calls for mostly sunny and hot through Monday. We'll reach a low this morning of 80 and a high later today of 101 degrees. The winds will be southerly at 10 to 15 miles per hour. For all of us at Region 10 News, thank you for joining us. Good night. <laughs>
Until then, we bid you a very pleasant good night and a good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.